even through the glove that's kind of hot so that's the project we're working on currently we started it yesterday afternoon uh, my grandmother came over and helped out after we did uh, lunch I mean it's a it's a fun way to spend time with the fiance and the family who's helping us get it done and okay let's see how well this mic does now at higher speeds I'm hoping it's not picking up too much wind noise and I'm also hoping it's not picking up too much breath um, that was one of the things I had noticed about it before is since it was in front of my face it was picking up a lot of my breath a lot of my breathing and I think you can kind of figure out why that would be a bad thing so you know maybe for one of the vlogs I'll ride up that <laughs> just for the fun of it <laughs> um, but yeah life happens and unfortunately um, I didn't have a vlog on Friday I just I, I didn't have enough content to put out that was phenomenal so I wanted to hold off and I put out a video Monday and this one's coming at you on Wednesday and you just kind of got to go with the flow sometimes it sucks but you know I needed a bit of a day off whatever and now it's time to go to work the one thing that's going to be difficult today is it is supposed to get kind of windy um, later on in the day probably right about as I'm about to go home but I think we'll be good. Okay, so microphone check at this much wind. Not quite sure how well it's gonna do, but we'll see. Mic check, check, check. <laughs> I always wanted to do that. Do a microphone check. Mic check, one, two, check, 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 mic. <laughs> They're doing a lot of construction over there. And you know what? That's the kind of construction that's truly going to be worth it. it. It will be. I can already tell because they're changing the whole layout of this interchange. And I mean, what more could you ask for when it's an interchange with some of the most, some of the most accidents, some of the most I'm, the reason why I'm not talking to you too much is because I'm not quite sure that you can actually hear me right now. There's a lot of wind going around my face. I wonder if I get down here. If I'm right here, I wonder how well you guys can hear me. Because I know there's not a whole lot of wind going into my face right now, but that's not comfortable at all. <laughs> to do that the whole ride, and uh, uh, that would not be fun. I am so glad that I do not have that kind of crotch rocket <laughs> I like that I sit upright more is this bike a little small yes is that a big deal not really so now that you guys can hear me the reason why I'm not talking too much on the expressway is I don't know if you guys can hear me that well um, there's a lot of wind noise and stuff when I'm on the expressway and I used to have my mic up under my chin um, which picked up a lot of my breath and picked up a lot of wind noise um, from the vents so now I put it in my cheek and I'm hoping right now that all you guys can actually hear is my actual voice and it's not picking up as much wind obviously nothing is perfect and all that who knows do not try to get in front of me Um, who knows? I mean, there's many different reasons that 
my mic could absolutely suck right now. I could have changed it for the worse. Who knows? I'm, I'm saying who knows way too much right now. <laughs> but where was I going to go with today's vlog? I had a plan to kind of talk about stuff that's going on in the world, but I have no idea what I was planning on talking about. So, whatever. I'll just keep going with the flow. You know, there are times that I have extremely random conversations, whether it's with myself or with my fiance or just with a friend. They are extremely um, random, weird conversations that go on in my head. Random thoughts I have. And so like one of the random thoughts I had the other day was simply, have you ever wondered who decided that yellow lines were going to be the ones that are in the middle and white lines are going to be the ones that are on the outside? Who decided that? Who sat down and goes, let's look at the color of our, of our road lines and see which ones would fit best? Okay. Okay. Yeah, Roger, let's do that. What? And who does that for a living? Who decides to go to work and be like, or not even go to work, but who decides one day, you know what, I'm going to be that guy who determines what color the lines are on the road. I want to be that guy. And then, of course, you have the jackasses who simply go, you know what, I'm going to take those lines and I'm going to make them squiggly just to piss everyone off. Or you've got these guys who go, oh, look, there's a crack. There's about 10 of them. I'm going to fill in that one. <laughs> like, come on. So you're either... I feel like every guy has both of those people at their work. So you have the guy who wants to piss everyone off by doing it right, but wrong at the same time. Like, you have that guy, of course. He, he's doing it, or she's doing it, whichever. If it's not that guy, it's that girl. I'm not gender biased, it's 2017. You, you have that person at your work that's like, you know, here you go, here's a perfect example. Who decided it was a good idea to just put cobblestone right there? You know, let's break up this awesome uh, asphalt road. Uh, British people would call it tarmac. Or whatever the hell they call it, I don't even know. British people always call it different things. They say aluminium. Like, come on. It's not aluminium, it's aluminum. Aluminum. Get it right, British people. Come on, Jeremy Clarkson, Captain Slow. Aluminum. Don't discriminate. Could be a woman who rides it, you never know. But, case in point, You know, I just have random thoughts. You were there first. Those are the rules of the road. So anyways, this is your friendly neighborhood motor vlogger saying, make sure you tell that person at work who likes to do things the funny way that they're awesome. <laughs> because without that guy or that girl at your work come on you know you know that your day would just not be made I mean someone at my work on a day where we had a ton of people subbing decided hmm what I'm going to do today is go to the copier room and put up a meme and that meme said you know, we're short staffed today. If you could do the work of three, that would be great. And you know, I feel like I know which of our staff members put it up, but I just find that absolutely hilarious and I could not, it, I, I died laughing in all honesty. It was too funny not to laugh at. 
and then you got that guy who's a visionary and a dreamer and wonders about the traffic lines. I mean, who would be pissed about this? The fact that that's the only one that hasn't been redone. Seems like all the other ones are perfectly yellow and that one's faded as all can be. <laughs> He'd be the guy that would have to go do it. The other guy would be the guy who would have to say, you know what, I'm gonna make sure that that's done almost correct. And it's gonna look awesome because there's gonna be a design. <laughs> do like a piece symbol, the own, put tape down in just one small area, you know? And you got the guy who likes to fix everything. <laughs> Have a good one, guys.